Welcome to Faith on Film with Isaac Hernandez and Holly McClure. Keeping you informed on faith and family entertainment. Hello, everyone. We're so thrilled you're with us for today's show. I am here with my co-host, Holly McClure. Holly, how are you doing today? Good, Isaac. Good. I just love doing our show and talking to the most interesting people. Oh, it's a lot of fun. And we certainly have interesting people on today. And by the way, we will have a very special announcement at the end of the show. So I'm just going to keep everybody in suspense. A very special announcement. (laughs) We do. Yeah. And no, I'm not pregnant. But other than that, I'm teasing, teasing. Neither am I. Because, you know, nowadays, apparently anybody can be. That's not the surprise. (laughs) No, that's not not it. I just a Uh, little humor to this. Yeah. But, yeah, we're very excited because today we are, you know, that we have the sponsor, uh, uh, Bridgestone Multimedia or BMG Global. uh, And every month they come on and they tell us about something new that uh, they've got going on at their streaming platform, Encourage TV. And so we will be talking today to not only Melissa Anschutz, uh, who, who is, we love, uh, we who love, we love and is the vice president of communications at BMG Global. But we're also going to talk to the star of the movie, Mayberry yes. Man, who is, of course, Brett Varvel. Mayberry yes. Man. I love Brett. And he is such a good actor. He's been in so yeah. many things, Isaac. We've actually seen him in other things that we've yeah. reviewed before, too. So it's not just Mayberry Man. But you know one thing I love about Mayberry Man? Yeah, it's kind of corny and it's kind of a goofy <laughs> little rom-com. <laughs> But you know what, folks? Remember when we grew up watching Andy Griffith? And remember yes. how lighthearted and corny and goofy that was? And even though yep. we knew it, we still enjoyed the wholesomeness of it? Yes. I think that's what this brings back and reminds us, is that wholesomeness and that little down-home, real people, small-town yes. feel. I don't know. I, I enjoyed watching it and getting no, I, reminded of that. I did, too. And, of course, it was so neat seeing two specifically two characters that were, of course, a big part of uh, of the original Andy Griffith show, and that That's was right. uh, that was uh, well one specific that was my favorite, which was, of course, the, the uh, sheriff, uh, or I should say, the deputy sheriff, um, Barney Fife. Barney, the, yeah, <laughs> and Don Knotts played him so brilliantly. Yeah. Oh my gosh! And and the cool thing is that the guy that plays that character right now pretty much nailed it. I mean, he, I, he if did. I didn't know any better, I'd say it was uh, it was him. He did. And the funny thing is, though, my only claim to having met Don Knotts was I was driving from a screening in Santa Monica and uh-huh. I was on Santa Monica Boulevard and I came to a stop sign and I looked next to me and there was a red convertible and Don Knotts was driving. And I looked over and took a double look and oh, he looked wow. over and I waved and he waved. And I'm like, oh, I love you. And he goes, thank oh. you. And that, you know, sweet Don Knotts. He was just a sweetheart. And that was the time I saw him. I love that memory. Oh, my goodness. That is such a cool story that you have there. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, uh, let's not waste any more time here and go right on to our interview with Melissa Anschutz. Let's do it. We are here now with Melissa Anschutz from BMG Global and Encourage TV. Melissa, what is going on now? Yeah, she's our BFF, too. Our BFF. (laughs) Oh, I feel the same way about y'all. BFF from BMG. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. Thank you so much once again for having me on. This is absolutely the joy of my every month, getting to come on your show and talk about the next film um, on Encourage TV. And mm-hmm. um, this one is a really good one, y'all. It is called Mayberry Man. Um, it is about this arrogant movie star. He's got a really bad attitude um, and he gets busted for speeding in a small town. So um, the local judge in that town sentences him to a week at a wholesome festival celebrating the Andrew Griffith show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you know in, he's immersed in a modern day mayberry he's surrounded by overly friendly super fans they're all dressed as the characters from the classic tv show that we all love um and he is given a chance to discover the true meaning of friendship and family so this is a really really great film for the entire family to enjoy together Fantastic. It is, and he gets to meet Barney, right? Yay! Barney and you know, quite a few other faves that people will remember from the show. Not the real ones, but they look like him, they sound like him. It's kind of fun. They do. It's so fun. It's so fun. And they just do such a nice job. All all of the actors in the film are just phenomenal. And the story is going to make you laugh. It's going to make you think. It's going to make you feel so many things. It's just, it's lovely. It really is. Did and they get in touch with, oh, sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. Did they get in touch with any of the alumni? Was there any left 
I mean, Ron Howard, certainly. What, what, did they get in touch with anyone to say, hey, we're doing this movie and have them check it out? You know, that is such a good question. Um, I don't know the answer to that. I'm going to assume so. I think the filmmaker, one of the filmmakers is connected um, to the Howard family. Um, so I think they're friends. Yeah. I think they actually grew up together, which is such a cool, cool twist to it. So I'm sure they know all about it. I'm sure they sat down with their family and watched it and got a kick out of it, too. And where can people watch this film again? On Encourage TV, Encourage of course. TV. <laughs> We're well, encouraging you to watch it on Encourage TV. Please watch it on Encourage TV. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what's exciting is we're going to see the trailer right now. And then when we come back, we are going to speak with the star of the film, Brett Barber. Hey. Hi, uh, Craig, give me the elevator pitch. Okay. Hey, picture this. <laughs> Chris Stone is a Hollywood movie star. You're Chris Stone! Yes, thank you. I am Chris Stone. Living life in the fast lane. I didn't know it was his daughter. Mr. Stone! But all of that is about to change. All rise. You were observed driving 105 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. I'm sentencing you to Mayberry Fest. Golly! Welcome to Mayberry Fest! Have you ever heard of Mayberry Fest? Dad used to go to it every year. You know what's gonna happen to me when I show up there? I'm gonna get mobbed. Mr. Chris Stone! <laughs> the son of Walter Stone from season three. <laughs> yeah. Cal! No. Clay! No. Patty! Clay? I'm Chris Stone. No, that's not it. <laughs> you two are going to love it. <laughs> Mr. Stone? Hey. We are glad to have you, Nick. Chris, you're a regular guy. How would you make a move on her? I don't think I would make a move on her. I would probably just, you know, try and get to know her first. You have really good coffee here. I don't drink coffee. Oh, okay. Why isn't there a Mr. Kate? Why isn't there a Mrs. Stone? I don't care about Mayberry Fest. I certainly don't care about Dad or his career. Who's your dad, man? No, he was your dad. Who good am I? You don't understand. No, I understand. You're a bigger phony than I thought you were. There comes a time in everyone's life when things get complicated. <laughs> Mayberry isn't just a place. It's a state of mind. It's in Georgia, it's in Indiana. It's even in California. Hey, Dad, guess where I am? I'm at Mayberry Fest. Shazam! Brett, welcome back to Faith on Film. Thanks for having me again, guys. It's, a, it's an honor and a blessing. Good to have you with us. All right. This this movie that you did is funny. It's romantic. It's a lot of things, but it's very nostalgic for a lot of people, isn't it? <laughs> That's the understatement of the century right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it was such an ex incredible experience because this movie really, uh, Stark Howell, the creator of Mayberry Man, this was really a way to say thank you to all of the fans of The Andy Griffith Show. Um, he had attended a, a, a real Mayberry Festival years ago and thought, man, these people still turn out year after year. They dress up like the main characters. They love to live this Mayberry spirit out. He, and, he, and that was really the kernel of the idea for him. Of what would it be like if a, if a Hollywood actor, you know, fish out of water scenario gets, gets dropped into this, this world of Mayberry and uh, how would that impact him? And uh, and so it was cool to see so many people who just love the show and love the spirit behind the show be able to be a part of the filmmaking process. So many of the extras and uh, and other actors are just fans uh, at, at the heart of it all. And uh, it really just provided that really cool touch to be a part of. So wait a minute funny. now. You mean it's it's actually a real festival that happens, not just that you guys did this movie, yeah. but it's an actual festival? Oh, yeah. Festival that happens no, this, wow, this thing was based, I didn't know this that. This thing is based on a real <laughs> festival. So there used to be several throughout the country. I think the main one now is in Mount, Mount Airy, North Carolina, every year. 
where people they have a parade, they have skits, they have all kinds of things. I mean, this is oh, cool. This is based on a real event, <laughs> uh, and so yeah. and and the and the people that that come to these events are just the most down to earth, honest, humble, loving people that you've ever met in your life, and they're a joy to be around. You know, I think that's really reflective of when the show, you know, Andy Griffith, when the show came out, Mayberry, you know, when it came out, that was the culture kind of of the yeah. country. It was just sweet. And, and everyone mm-hmm. thought that humor was funny. I mean, if you showed it to young people nowadays, they may not think it's that funny or they're like, what are you watching? But, you know, back then it was like, and of course, people love Ron Howard. I've interviewed Ron for several of his films of what he's done. And, and so and it's been a joy to see his career and how yeah. he's grown as an actor, director, producer, what he's done. I was just talking to a person, a guy who's probably in his, well, he's probably 33, 34. And I said, you know, um, like uh, Ron Howard, you know, Opie from, you know, Andy Griffin. He goes, <laughs> Opie, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Never heard of it. Never watched a show. I'm like, you've never seen a rerun? He's like, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. Wow. So if there is a whole generation that, doesn't know anything about that. So it's kind of fun to reintroduce them through this movie, hopefully. Well, yeah, and that was that was honestly one of the the desires from the beginning was there's a whole generation that, that doesn't know about the Andy Griffith show. And there's so much charm. There's so much uh, of that original American spirit that is lost in, in, in generations today without really being able to dig into these characters. And, and really, <clears throat> the, I think at its core... This is a this is a film that that seeks to bring family together more than anything, family, friends, community uh, in, a, in a day and age where we're all on our devices. We're all separated from each other. Um, this is this is an opportunity to get back to the grassroots of what it's like to be uh, a family and to be American. And, and so that it was just uh, just a, a really cool thing to be a part of for not only the movie, but. This has actually blossomed into a series. We just got done, and it's it's almost they're, they're, they're putting on the finishing touches right now. The first five episodes, really, of mm. Mayberry Man, the series, uh, oh. where we're gonna you where the movie leaves off, you continue on in the series where these characters mm-hmm. uh, end up going, and uh, it's it's been an exciting journey uh, to be a part of, and part of it for me because we shot a lot of this in my hometown here in Indiana, so it was it was fun to to wake up in my own bed and, and go to my the hometown that I grew up in and shoot this movie uh, was really, really cool experience. Wow. That is that is so interesting. Now, okay, and without giving anything away, but in the movie you get to actually go to the real Mayberry store and there's a little bit of nostalgia and, and, and mystery, mystique. Is that going to be in the series? Is that going to be included in that magic of Mayberry? I, I don't know if I can give any spoilers. I, they, they, might, they might fire me. I don't know. I'd like to keep my job. Uh, you'll have you'll have to watch to find out. Okay. Well, well, now, well. now, listen. I, I of course was a huge fan of of uh, the Andy Griffith show. Loved Barney. The Barney that you guys have on this movie. I, I kid you not. If if if, it, if I didn't know any better, I'd say it was him. How did you guys find yeah. him? Yeah, so Rick Roberts is a he's a gem of a human being, just an incredible. Uh, not not only is he hilarious and does he uh, do a great Barney Fife, but he's just a, one of the most incredible men I've ever been blessed to meet. And they 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 were trying to find these tribute artists, is what they're known as, to find to play these specific characters like Floyd and Barney and and Gomer and all these different types of characters that my character interacts with throughout the film. And um, Rick has been doing some opening uh, acts, and he has his own stand-up routine, but he was on the Mike Huckabee show doing his Barney Fife get, you know, gig, and um, somebody saw that and connected him to the creator, uh, Star Cal, and uh, the rest is history, so to speak. But he's just, he's so good. He's yeah. freakishly good. Uh, there's a specific scene in the movie where uh, you know, he's playing himself, and then all of a sudden he sits in a car, the, the, the Mayberry car, and it's like Barney comes to life inside of him. And it was it was hilarious uh, just watching him do his thing on set. Are you, um, uh, when you were on the set and going through all these scenes and, and going from being this really not very nice guy at the beginning, really snobbish, kind of Hollywood type, <laughs> 
<laughs> Is there any funny scenes that was your favorite or a scene that you love shooting or something that you love with these characters that you can tell people to look for? Honestly, there, there's so, there so many bits that are that I really, really had a, a great time shooting. There, there's a guy that plays uh, my assistant in the movie. His name is Jacob Winter. And um, he plays the, yeah, he was funny. He plays the character Shane. He and I, 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 I keep kidding the, I keep kidding Star Cal that we need to do a spinoff series with Chris and Shane because uh, we would have a, a riot together. But, um, but honestly, any of these scenes where my character Chris Stone was just dropped in the middle of the crazy people, the tribute artists, I, I, I had a blast shooting those. In fact, one of the, one of the most exciting things for me um, was just keeping a, a straight face and not breaking character when I'm surrounded <laughs> by a bunch of weird, you know, things going on, <laughs> specifically Chris's first entrance into Mayberry Fest. Um, there's this woman who gets right in my face and starts singing terribly. And um, I, 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 I held it together in that scene and I did not break character. Uh, but th those scenes were really, really fun to play just because I got to kind of take a back seat and just let these people's talent shine and, yes. and just be, mm -hmm. just be the kind of the glue that holds it all together. But in many ways, just let it, it's taking a step back and, and giving these people an opportunity to bring that Mayberry out. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. Your assistant was funny. I got to oh. say the scenes between you two, I felt so sorry Jacob. for the guy. You were so mean to him. Uh, Jacob <laughs> is, uh, is a dear, dear friend of mine now. And uh, we, we had a little bit of a bromance developing on, on set just because we had such a fun time uh, yeah. creating these scenes together. There's a lot of ad living and uh, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. And, and, <laughs> you know and his, can, his character continues on in the series. And it's oh, good. Really cool character. Did anyone get in touch with the How Ron Howard's family or anybody of the alumni that may still be living from the show? I don't know if there are any others. There was honestly a lot of alumni that were going to be a part of it, but due oh, to wow. the fact that we shot the movie Non-Union, that ruled out a uh, lot of yes. a lot of them. Uh -huh. um, and so, and and we also shot this movie in the midst of COVID, and so there was a lot of just uh, unknowns. Uh, uh, people didn't want to chance it, and so. Um, and so some, some of the alumni that were going to be a part of the film didn't get a chance to be. Um, but you do, uh, without any, any major spoilers, there are a couple that, that are involved in the series that uh, you have to be on the lookout for. It'd be fun to get Bryce Dallas, you know, Ron's <laughs> yeah. daughter. It'd be that'd fun be, to have her make cool. a cameo and be like, well, my dad was a little boy in this town. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, cool. well, like, you Don have to Knotts, know that you know, you know? Yeah, so Don Knotts, who played Barney Fife, his daughter... That's right. is in Mayberry Man, and yes. uh, she actually makes some cameos as well in the series, and uh, she has a whole bit of what it was like to be uh, Barney's Barney's daughter, oh, wow. basically. But yeah. yeah, I think he was my favorite character on, on the show. Yeah, he's great. What he's What great. else are you working on? Anything else you can talk about before we let you go? Oh yeah, I, I'm in the final few months of post production on a movie called Disciples in the Moonlight. Uh, this is a movie that I have been. Uh, laboring and toiling over for seven years to bring to life and God and his goodness has provided this time and this place to to bring this movie to life uh, it is uh, a what-if scenario what would it be like for a Christian in America if the Bible were illegal and these characters have to smuggle the Bible into underground churches in a not too distant version of America wow. and uh, what I can just what I can just tell you about this movie is that, it's it's my love letter to the Church of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. to to rise mm -hmm. up and, and and grab onto God's word as absolute truth and to lift high the name of Jesus and to not be afraid of what that might do to your life, uh, but to stand in boldness. And uh, the way that the movie has come together, the edit is so gripping. The music mm -hmm. is coming together. The we're putting all the finishing touches on, and then uh, hopefully we'll be getting to release it uh, sometime in 2024. You've got to come back and tell us about that. Yes, I yeah. love just hearing what you're saying. And who knows? I mean, you're, you're saying that not the distant of America. <laughs> we're about <laughs> there now, aren't we? Yeah, right it's kind of, you know. We're not trying to be prophetic, but we're saying, <laughs> how would you respond? That's the big thing. And that was honestly the thing that gripped me from the beginning. That Josh Strakowski, who wrote the screenplay, when he first pitched this to me, I sat there and when I was reading the script and I kept asking myself, who would I be? Which character would I be in this film? How would I respond if this was my reality? 
And that just convicted me so deeply. And it's a movie that I, I, I hope will inspire people uh, to live very unashamed for, for who they are in Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. But but also introduce those to may not who may not know Jesus, mm. and be and cause them to be curious about what who is this guy that that people would be willing to give their life for. Wow! Um, yeah. So it's it's an exciting movie, and uh, I, I I'm very very humbled and and honored to be a part of it. And read the Bible more. A lot of people don't even yeah. read their Bible anymore. Right. So hey, you know it's right. it, when you assume, when you have four or five at home and it's no big deal. Right. But when you get that taken away and then all of a sudden it is a big deal. You right. know. And right. Um, right. I don't know. We are in crazy times. I love the sound of that movie. So well, you've got to come Sounds back and tell us. Well, dear. congratulations. Yeah. That sounds so Thank interesting. You. Yeah, yes. thank you so much for coming back on the show, man. And we certainly look forward to Absolutely. having you back when this movie's ready. Absolutely. Love you guys, and God Thank bless you. you. Thank you, right. Brett. God bless you, too. Want to have you back ASAP. So, And congratulations on Mayberry Man. Thank love you. you. Thank you. We'll be right back, folks. Hey, guys. I'm Brett Varvel. I'm a producer, director, actor, and I'm the star of Mayberry Man, and you're watching Faith on Film. I got to tell you, Holly, Brett is just such a cool dude, isn't he? He is. He is. And, and very grounded. You know what yes. I mean? Very grounded actor right. for being Hollywood and doing other things. But we really appreciate him. And you guys are going to love the movie. Again, sweet, simple rom-com. Yep. Kind of goofy by the standards. But hey, what's wrong with that? A little well, clean, and, and, yeah. wonderful. You know. And you know, you mentioned about how we enjoyed, of course, uh, the, the original Andy Griffith show. But, you know, we're old. And so you, some of you might think, well... I, I don't even know what the Andy Griffith show is all about. Right, right, but, right. But you will enjoy this. I'm telling you, you will enjoy this movie. And uh, may, maybe you should also go back and look at some reruns of uh, of the old Andy Griffith show. Well, and for any of Ron Howard fans out there who mm-hmm. he's done everything from Jurassic World and Park and other, you know, I yeah. mean, Ron Howard, look at his list of movies he's done. He was Opie. Yeah. Okay, right. that's where he got his start. So, well, actually... The Music Man when he was yeah. little, but Opie. Yes. So, you know, there's lots of history there to go back. And hey, Isaac, you know, there's another movie coming out that the faith-based audience might appreciate and like. Mm-hmm. And it's called The Blind. The Blind. The Blind. Um, it is the story of, you know, Phil and Kay Robertson. Now, we all watched Duck Dynasty for Duck many Dynasty. years and saw the reality show. And mm-hmm. that was the good part of their life and faith part when Phil got found God and, and, you know, carried that into his family. But the the blind is before that, of course, using the duck terms, the blind, um, duck hunting terms, I should say. And that's before when he was in the dark and blind to his faith. And for those who, we don't have a trailer to show you today, but for those who want to see a trailer of it and learn more about it, you can go to theblindmovie.com. And there it is. And check it out, theblindmovie.com. And it's got young actors playing the young characters. But definitely support this. It it is going to be in theaters um, for a while. And I don't know Mm -hmm. when you're watching this interview, so it may not be in there now. But go to theblindmovie.com and you can find out where it's showing, if it is, and how you can watch it. That's wonderful. And, you know, I know that there's even more uh, faith-based movies coming out. And uh, we're yes. going to try to find out what they are. And on some future shows, we'll let you know what movies are coming out there That's that are true. faith-based and movies, as well as letting you know, of course, what Hollywood movies are coming out that maybe would be good for you or some that maybe we should warn you about. Million Miles Away is still my favorite one right now. I'm telling everybody to go it support and see that movie. It is the best movie I've seen in a long time. <laughs> I know, Isaac, you feel the same way. I Jose do. Hernandez, the the man who started yes. picking grapes and vegetables and ended up being an astronaut. We love him, and we want to support that movie. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. My kids went to go see it, and they absolutely loved it. Did told, they love it? Yeah, I'm I told them, it. oh, yeah, that's a cousin of mine. Which, of <laughs> and they went, yeah, right, Dad. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, an interesting thing I just learned about it, by the way, uh, in, in Facebook, uh, and that is that I don't know if, if whoever has seen it already or if you've seen it, uh, Holly. It's on it, Amazon Prime, it, folks, so you don't is. have to go to a theater. You can watch it on Amazon Prime. If you if you already saw it and you did, Holly, do you remember when, when he was getting, well, the actor playing, uh, you know, Mr. Hernandez was getting Michael into. Pena. Michael, Michael Pena. Michael Pena was, was getting into the, uh, the, uh, the, the ship. There was a guy that helped him put his helmet on. I don't know yes. if you remember that. That guy was actually Jose Hernandez. That oh, was his, right. That's that was right. his he little cameo. Walk on part. 
Yep, That's that, right. I'm glad you reminded us of that. I forgot that, that was note. it. Yes. it was so cool. I didn't know about it till just a couple of days ago, and I go, "Oh, that's right." I remember. Yes, <laughs> he had told yeah. me that when we stopped the interview, but oh darn, uh -huh. I didn't get a chance to put that. In. But you, good point. Yeah. I'm glad you yeah. brought that up. Yeah, that was, that was that was right. He, he got to be fun. in his own movie. I mean, how cool is that? I, I know, I know. But listen, we mentioned at the beginning of the show that we had some exciting news. So you announce it, and, and it's not that you're pregnant. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, we'll leave that alone or engaged or married or, or anything. <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you what, before we even, uh, let me, do, let me do this real quick. Before we even talk about it, I just want you to take a quick look at this short little video. Okay. Isn't Yay. that exciting? <laughs> it's exciting. Thank you, Red Letter Awards. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you so much, all those of you who voted for us. You know, four years ago, I started this show, and it has just come a long ways. And there's, there's so many people to thank, like from all the people that carry the show, the people that originally helped yes. me, uh, you know, in the beginning with the, some financial help to kind of, you know, get what I needed, some of the equipment. And, of course, now our regular sponsor, uh, which we hope is one of several, one of many, uh, yes. but our, our sponsor, uh, BMG Global. So uh, we're wanting yes. wanting to move this show forward even even better and better, better opportunities. Right, right. And it's I love how God grew it from when you first had the idea yeah. to over the four years and then having me come on, and it was an honor yeah. for me to join you, and then now to where we are today. And it's just such a blessing to see God grow the show and grow it our is. viewers and our audience. And then win awards, even it's just a cherry awards. on top. But it's fun. It's fun, and it makes it exciting to see where God's taking it. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's there's a huge vision for it. I think there's a lot more that, uh, that we're wanting to do. Uh, yes. You know, especially attending some of the great events like red carpet events and uh, other yes. conferences. Uh, which, in fact, by the way, we are uh, headed to a conference uh, right now, pretty much almost after the show's over. That's right. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. And we'll yeah. be getting a lot of great interviews and talking to a lot of great people. Yes. We will. We're heading to Content 2023 at Capernaum Studios, your stomping grounds. Yay, yay. <laughs> It'll be fun. It'll be fun. It we'll have some be. good interviews from there. It's going to be fun. Yes, yes, we will. Lots of people are coming in that are involved in the uh, family, yes. faith and family uh, film industry. Well, Holly, yes. that's it for today. Did you enjoy the show? A great time. Great time. Thank you. And it's, thanks, everyone. Thank Red Letter Awards. And thanks, yes. everyone, for watching. And please remember to go to YouTube and click that button. Subscribe to yes. your friends, too. We appreciate you. Absolutely. See you all next week. God bless. Write to us at faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. That's faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Faith on Film TV. Also, go to our YouTube channel, Faith on Film TV, and hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications on our latest Faith on Film shows.